the Dollar Tree and I'm pretty sure they have all their Christmas stuff out. I've been seeing twinklings of it online. Twinklings? We are in the Christmas spirit. So let's hop inside, see everything that they have to offer and find some really great gems for only $1.25. It is bright and early. Let's see if they're open. Oh, well, 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 they are open. And they have a lot of accoutrements, a few aisles I see full of Christmas. Oh my heck, look at that back wall. Hold on, this aisle, yes, who needs a Santa hat? I got you. It's back wall, it's the most I've seen. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most I've seen so far. Okay, even more over here, hold up. Foliage behind me. They have gnomes for $1.25. Remember we saw that gnome at Home Goods for literally $50. Hold on, candles, elves. Oh, like elf on the shelf. Is this a girl? She's cute. Oh my gosh, DIY trees. They have a bunch of this stuff at Target, but they want to sell a tree for like, I don't know, $10. This stuff, $5 each. What? Ooh, they even have canned soup for Thanksgiving. Soup, I mean gravy. You know what I meant. All right, ex we'll explore up here too. And they have plates, all this good stuff. <gasps> Thanksgiving, they have table covers. They have candles. Look at how delicate these features are. Candles for Thanksgiving. They've got nice little candy dishes and stuff. And then check it, a nice platter. That's pretty cool. I'm going around the whole store, I found a Christmas village, some boxes for gift cards. I will do a deep dive. I think let's just start deep diving and then we'll explore the whole store. Okay, up here, I imagine they're gonna fill out the rest of the wall, but I love how Dollar Tree always has such a variety of bags for gifting and they're great quality like the quality of this thing is definitely three dollars at least at target probably more especially for the bigger ones as they get bigger obviously the price goes up but here at the dt it's all just a dollar 25 and then they have gift tags Ooh, these are fun six pieces for a dollar Ooh, 25 pieces for a dollar 25 20 pieces for a dollar 25 what are these gift tags 18 Oh, 52, and apparently they have glitter. I don't know, I don't see that, but this is 52, best deal. That's not a deal, that's a steal. You know what else is a steal? This tissue paper. Oh my gosh, did you just hear my ankles and knees crack? Wow, you know I'm at the next level when my ankles are cracking. Okay, 24 sheets of gift tissue paper for $1.25. This is the real steal. It's still, um, it's only 16 sheets, but for $1.25, uh, screaming deal, so many screaming deals. What the heck is this? Dude, a bike bag? This is genius, genius. I've never seen these before. Is this the flip, like, did Dollar Tree make this up? I mean, I probably not, right? A nice tote bag over here. And to all a good night. Man, this is great stuff. And then some other prints. But check it, gnomes. If you have, this is great. If you have like a dollhouse or something and you want to put it in a bag, normally I would just throw a bow on that stuff and call it done. You know what I mean? What about this? Oh, gift card boxes. You guys, a long one. Not sure if that would fit a gift card but definitely a necklace or something and then so it's a three piece for a dollar 25 and they have a few different prints holiday vibes they have a bag oh i think i'm gonna grab some of these this is the woman i am this year some bows for a dollar 25 let's explore this back wall there's always a ton oh the ornaments i almost forgot about the ornaments that they sell what the heck Okay, this little advent calendar type of thing. What is this, a magnet, Velcro? It's Velcro. It's a felt Santa, and we've seen similar of these. Okay, well, obviously the quality difference is very apparent, but you're paying $1.25 for that versus like $20 at another store. I'm stuck between carts, which is very nice that they offer these very nice carts, but all these tinsel decor pieces, what the heck? This tree, oh my gosh, it's so dang cute. They have hanging snowflakes those are darling that soldier is fantastic the nutcracker i guess he's not a nutcracker look he's got a smile on him he's a soldier okay they have an elf these are all super cute oh the red truck can we rid of that that will stand the test of time i'm pretty sure they also have these wooden ones but hold on oh my gosh they have a 3d red truck holding a Christmas tree. That's fantastic. Well, how else are we going to get the tree home? You know what I mean? The snowman is super cute. And then they have the felt decor pieces. Listen, if you're doing any kind of winter theme party or even frozen, hello, princess, tons of snowflakes at your disposal for only $1.25 is crazy sauce because other stores want to sell that. Even Amazon, a clump of them 
is pretty expensive. But again, it's more than one. I've done, ooh, I've done that before. Okay, a lot of wooden signs as well. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Classic, Noel, peace and joy. All three of them, I'll take it, thank you. A tree topper here, cracking me up. And what the heck is this? A tea light holder or something? What do we put in there? Probably nothing. Ooh, these sold like hotcakes. <laughs> Actually, you know what I saw online? That they have a candy cane, but it lights up. But that might be at only the Dollar Trees that have stuff for $5 because they were $5. I always get so jealous of people who share that they have Dollar Trees like that. I don't know, none in my area offer that. Here are a ton of ornaments. Really cute too, two for a dollar. Oh my gosh, and they jingle jangle. I love this. If the kids put their own ornaments or their own trees in their bedroom, I think this would be a great place to find ornaments. I mean, obviously they have like the tubes of them and stuff. Like how is this only a dollar 25? It's blowing my mind. What are these jingle bells, silver bells? And then here, here's what I was talking about. I put together, I think they were invitations or something, a 10 pack. 10 pack of these snowflakes for a dollar 25 and then this is a six pack for the slightly larger ones and then i saw look snowflakes galore snowflakes everywhere ornaments this is huge i'm sure we can diy something with this i don't know i'm not a diyer there's a ton of them out there though they have such great ideas and then whenever i try to do it, it turns out looking like garbage so that's a pass for me okay ton, but a ton of beautiful stuff oh this one even lights up so no light up candy canes but they do have light up icicle ornaments so that's pretty sweet what are these acorns they're decorative those are so adorable okay they even have what are those stars and sleds oh a reindeer okay well that that makes more sense i think i'm really in love with these silver bills but the logical part of me knows that they would just end up all over my house and like scattered about you know what i mean because kids so i'm not going to do that but they have a lot of like earthy tones Ooh, christmas ornaments a dollar 25 a girl for all the seasons not this though girl for all the seasons that's my jam if you don't know what that song is from oh well, you're probably not my age okay these gift sacks six of them oh that'd be cute if you're putting together multiple things what is this a pillowcase that's pretty cool it says chris wait what does it even say fresh cut christmas trees okay cool 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 Ooh, some wall art up in here that's interesting like if you don't have many windows you can do the wall art they're like window clings but for the wall felt garland wow stepping up their game even with the felt garland another piece of decor oh it's a door cover i thought it said decor cover well that makes more sense that's the only oh no they also have a family of snowmen too oh merry christmas are we covering our doors is that a thing that people do these days okay they even have a lot of stakes down here let it snow this would be cute oh look at the little gnome that'd be cute or your front stoop or something or your garden whatever oh these would be great for putting little gifts together it's got that holly berry on there and then these tins i don't know my thing is what do you do with it after the fact I try to keep mine around. It was two years. I finally decluttered it. I was like, this is literally just sitting in a cabinet. We don't use it. We don't do anything with it. So, but someone gave us like, you know, a gift in it. Uh, it was for my kids and it was really thoughtful and sweet, but I'm like, what do I do with this? So, um, DIY security system here. They have these plastic bells, red bells, and then a bunch of bows. Look at the bow selection. Are we hanging bows on our trees? Where are we hanging this? Oh my gosh, look at this velvet one. Wow, the quality of this. They even have it in a silver. I'm surprised they don't have it in a gold. The felt, the other ones are full of glitter, which I love. I love a nice glitter. And then they have all this garland. What is this called? Tinsel? All this tinsel? So many color options. It's blowing my mind. I'm not good at decorating my tree. And then they have 50 foot tinsel. Probably the quality is a little like stringy. You can tell the difference. Ooh, and then these are great best deal around 200 of them the little ornament hangers and 20 pages of coloring oh my gosh a snowman eating soup okay hold on the artist was laughing the whole time he created that oh that's fun okay then there's another book down here giving us variety i love it oh okay diy your own face and then they have oh cards this is the best place to get cards here i'll go ooh, this one actually looks really nice it was the night before christmas wait is this a book or a coloring book no man this is the night before christmas legit 
for $1.25, I spent like $20 on mine. And that was a Costco price, maybe 15, I don't remember, but they have crayons and seasonal markers. Oh, it's a carry along. So it comes with markers, stickers, and the coloring pad in there. Well, that is really cool. Great for holiday travel. They have Blippi Christmas. Man, Blippi is a billionaire, <laughs> am I right? I hope Miss Rachel is too. Okay, they've got Grinch and more coloring books, a lot, a nice selection. I'm gonna browse down this aisle. They actually have a lot of cards. Oh, this is like Christmas cards, a 12 pack for $1.25. It blows my mind the things that they can sell here for $1.25. Like this, are you going to a cookie gift exchange? Or are you needing, well, what are we gonna do with this? See, I don't even know. Possibilities are endless. I really like the two prints that they have. Actually, they have way more than two, but there you go, you can see them. Home for the holidays, for putting together gifts. These are look bigger to me, and oh, no, it's a two pack. A two pack. Are we putting together gifts for everyone? Are we going to a cookie exchange? You can put your cookies in here or in here. I really like these and they stack nice. What I would want is something to stack into itself. I'm just saying Ikea style. Ooh, Christmas trees. Oh, and they light up. Do they light up or is it just my imagination? No, I can see it. Okay. They have a lot of bins and buckets and things. Ooh, lanterns, LED lantern. Check this out, a chair cover. Oh, that would be so fun. One time they had gingerbread aprons and that's what I'm keeping my eye out for because we always like to do gingerbread cookie decorating. I love these plates. Napkins too, great price on this. How many do we get? Eight, 16. Oh, screaming deal number 700. Cookie bags. Hey, if you're going to a cookie decorating party, listen, bring a plate, disposable or something like this. And well, that, that bag probably won't fit that plate, but you get what I'm saying. Maybe more like this one. Actually, this is a fantastic little platter for $1.25. How do they make money? It's crazy. Look at these different platters and these are massive. So you can spread all of your cookies on there and it's great if you're going somewhere and you don't care about like whether you're or not you're leaving early and you don't want to make sure that you need to get your plate or clean it or whatever. This is great to just leave behind and have the hostess deal with it. Plenty of people have done that to me. This is another great one, the light up necklace, a fan favorite, family favorite, a tool skirt oh like an actual skirt not a tree skirt oh my gosh a scarf if you're looking like santa claus and it jingle jangles i love that they even have cookie boxes two i almost went looked on the back to see how much two for a dollar 25 this is wild sauce and then they have what the heck is down here oh a container a container if you need to contain something what in the world stop this right now okay i would prefer to get my gingerbread houses already assembled because to me that's the most frustrating part i am not a builder but if you are they are pre-baked gingerbread house kit for a dollar 25 this is blowing my mind and then this is the kind of stuff that we always get are the gingerbread and the cookie decorating so this comes with icing ready to use sprinkles and pearls and i would assume the actual gingerbread cookies okay everything you see here it's wild i mean pick some of those up your kids are be will be so happy about it and the best part about it is that you only spent like a dollar 25 on it that's wild this oh my gosh it comes with stuff in it the ones you get at home goods are empty i'm just gonna say that not sure the quality here but those are really cute hand soap by the way that's what it is what the heck is santa doing He's supposed to light up and have sound, but I'm not sure about this. I think someone broke him. More gift boxes down here. And there was even more in the back when I was scouting around. And then if you're feeling festive, you can get a, an assortment of hair bows. You know how we saw the Thanksgiving tablecloths? I'm not sure if these are out yet, but they're definitely in a box. They have the tablecloths for Christmas, so they've got a nice plaid, a nice holiday berry. These are the prints, if you can even see them. You know, the Dollar Tree always has a nice assortment of candy, great for the stocking. Like, what the heck is this? I've never seen it in my entire life. A Kool-Aid candy cane. You know who's gonna love this? My kids. Ooh, there's even a cherry flavored one, grape flavored, tropical punch, all the flavors. Ooh, Mike and Ike's. When's the last time you had a Mike and Ike? Um, these, my kids love these too candy in a candy cane way better than an actual candy cane in my opinion we've got annie's and andy's what is this cherry jubilee i've never heard of that in my entire life and hey if you want to feel fancy get some lint 
probably like two in there for a dollar twenty-five. I feel like screaming deal. You know what I mean? It's just enough. That's all you need. Just a couple at a time. Otherwise, I grab like six and then I have a stomach ache. And I'm like, why did I do that to myself? Okay, twenty-five mini candy canes. These are so stinking cute. If you, oh, this is where they are. This is how the grandmas get them. Where else do you see these sold? Nowhere. Only the DT. I can't believe those are some of the best candies of all time. Try to change my mind. You won't be able to. Oh, it's a little Santa hot cocoa bomb. Okay, these are everywhere. And then I saw this one too, the hot cocoa ball. Just for $1.25. I feel like this is a, a good price. Not sure if it's like a Palmer kind of chocolate because then I'd be out. But otherwise, to try it, I think that's a good idea. Oh, and they even have... Okay, hold on. What the heck is this? A min, mini peppermint sipper? Someone explain because I just can't. Andy's peppermint bark? Why am I baking anything? What the heck? Thin mints, dark chocolate spoons? What is this? It's blasphemy. I don't know what's happening. Warheads, some of my all-time favorite candies of all time. Those are so fun when you're in middle school and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. <laughs> Eating one as an adult though, not as fun. Actually, these are great. Marshmallows look questionable, but the idea is really nice. The sweet Christmas, three different shapes marshmallows. If you're putting together a hot cocoa bar, that would be great. Just maybe try to find one that doesn't look as questionable. Here's the Palmer chocolate I was talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about, the double crisp. I mean, listen, kids honestly don't even care. But as an adult eating Palmer chocolate, I'm like, I'll pass. Thank you so much. Jello candy canes. Are we doing Jello now? This one is good humor. It's creamsicle apparent. A warhead candy cane. Somebody stop me. Wait, a marshmallow candy cane? My kids are going to be all into these. Literally pure sugar, but hey, it's the holidays. What the heck? Five snack sizes in here for $1.25? I'm going to get diabetes in this aisle. We have hot cocoa. Hot cocoa for you. Oh, it's Nestle. Wonder if they have French vanilla. That is the best. But I have found just getting the Swiss Miss and then adding marshmallows, same effect, which is nice. Saves me a bunch of money. Oh, look, they even have this if you're putting a hot cocoa bar together. These um, candy cane sticks. Those are great too. And then the holiday boxes if you're doing, ooh, gummies, Rudolph gummies. Great for stockings. Holy shnikes, you people. We found the peeps. Just the snowmen. This is wild. I mean, Target really only sells them for like a, maybe less than $1.25. Remember we went there for the Halloween ones? Amazon wants to sell them for an arm and a leg and your firstborn, but I think Target has a reasonable price around the same as $1.25, but sometimes they're hard to find. What the heck, how did I pass these? Candy cane spoons. Dollar Tree has thought of everything. There you have it, candy cane spoon. That's it, we can go home now. How are we gonna find anything better than that? Oh, what the heck, coal? If you want to put coal in someone's stocking, that's pretty fun. Oh, it's Palmer. It's probably just as delicious as coal. And then we have some bells and things of that nature. You know, I took a look at this earlier, but I'll give you a glimpse of everything that's on the shelf. Oh my goodness, the joy, the gingerbread house joy. There's some wax melts and faux candles down here, a glitter faux candle, four inch, wowza. And then over here, if you're putting together your own Christmas tree, they have like the mini Christmas trees with ornaments. Um, how many are in here? It looks like a lot, 16 pieces. This definitely beats Target. The selection is great, the variety is great. I have heard that these are kind of sad looking, but if you buy two and put them together, or I think they sell, so it looks like they have white and green, but I think they sell like extra tree branches or something, and then if you just, you know, meld them together, it'll work out for you. Hey, to help you decorate, Dollar Tree has like the fake command hooks. <laughs> I'm just saying, probably work just as well. All right, here are some more things. What am I looking at? Some wreath holders. What the heck is this? Oh, decor pieces, tinsel stems. That's what I'm talking about. They sell these, but like green. Oh, garland for your stairway. Here is some faux snow. If you're putting together a Christmas village, we used to do that. Oh my gosh, all the bells. I love bells. I don't know why. They just make me happy. Just the sound of the bells. Ooh, and then if you want to do DIY ornaments, this is a huge one. We did one before and we made a huge mistake. We got glass ones, but we did one where we put the kids handprints and made them look like snowmen. It's so adorable, but every year I'm like, oh my gosh, if this breaks my memories, you know, I should probably take a picture of it. Um, and then, ooh, they have this shape as well. Yeah, this would be great for a gift if you want to throw some money in there or something and a couple pieces of chocolate, you're good to go. And then they have, they should have 
a different size ball. I feel like they normally do. Oh, this one actually says something on it. Can't read joyful something Christmas. I have extremely difficult to read. Holy ribbon. I didn't know they had ribbon here. I feel like I should have known that and I did know that, but I forgot for some reason. Whoa, I am in the market for some ribbon for no good reason. But if you are looking for some ribbon, they have it here. Okay, the real question is 12 feet. How many feet? 12 feet for $1.25, it's like Joanne who? What about this? Six feet of the thick stuff for $1.25. How about this? Ooh, nine feet. Cool, it just gets better and better. They have mini bows if you're putting together little crafts. They have the faux snow. Ooh, this one has sparkles in it too. A felt Christmas tree. I actually got one of these off Amazon. Again, quality, slightly different. <laughs> but if you're wanting just something simple and easy, $1.25, and you're like, okay, I know it's not gonna last me forever, but it'll be fun while it lasts. This is another great craft for the kids. My kids always love painting the ceramics. And then the mini trees, the felt decor pieces. What else do we have? Oh, these are fun too. Foam sheets for the kids to literally do whatever they want with. Oh, wooden things. This is always fun for the kids to paint too. So they have a lot of these wooden, what are they even called? Oh, make your own ornament. I mean, or you can just have them paint them and leave them around the house, decorate their room. Oh, here's the different size. And they come in a pack of two. Thank you, Dollar Tree, that's pretty sweet. And they have tool, more ribbon. Oh, what the heck, how cute. I like how they do a flat bottom because some people do like sceneries in the ornaments too. So I think that's adorable. They even have houses. Have you seen people painting the gingerbread houses lately? I mean, the talent that some people have. I'm just in awe because I definitely don't have that. Miniature cups seems a little sparse. Oh my heck, look at this. It's an ornament and it lights up. Oh wow, that's fun. What the heck, they sell gift cards here? What? Visa gift cards, PlayStation, Xbox, Google Play, Domino's, Apple, but this is wild. Are these $1.25? <laughs> A little taste of Thanksgiving over here. We'll just browse you down this little end cap of cups and bowls. Is that a measuring cup? What the heck is this? That's cute. It's just a mug. Perfect time of year to gift a calendar. I used to gift uh, one of my nieces a calendar every year. It was like One Direction or you know something that she was interested in. Basically 12 months of artwork on her wall. Oh, LED lights here too. So sparkle, these are fun, 12 lights in there. So if you're wanting to do a little flare. Oh, here's Santa, let's see if he works. No, what about snowman? No, what about these? No. What about those? Oh, hey, we made it. All right, here they are in the flesh. These are nice. Decorate LED lights. Okay, are these battery operated? Because that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, mints, a whole bag of mints. And then more lights down here. Ooh, a projector light. Oh my heck, do you see that? For $1.25, it's blowing my mind. I'm not sure if I showed you this yet, but they do have a lot of foliage. I know a lot of the DIYers, like look at this mistletoe. They're like, oh, shop early. Some of them are in here literally in October getting this stuff, but check this out. I love that with the little cardinal. And then they have this one. It has a little clip on the bottom to add to whatever project you're making. They have three pine cones. Okay. Best place to buy cards, the DT. People are gonna throw them away. Listen, two for a dollar. We don't even do cards anymore, but um, we'll like make them ourselves. But if you are a card person, two for a dollar. And they have everything every occasion okay frames where's the christmas gift boxes oh i just realized i did my thumbnail i brought my sweater to do my thumbnail in let's give this the moment it deserves cats <laughs> isn't it so dang cute i forgot to put it on i had to use it to prop up my phone all right anyway uh boxes gift boxes you get two in there two for a dollar and then three of the smaller sizes for a dollar twenty-five. whenever <clears throat> i say a dollar it's just the old me peeking in you know what i mean a dollar twenty-five that's inflation for you we should have known it was coming all of these bottle brush trees if you're putting together 
a village, a Christmas village. They even have, oh look, Santa, Olaf, and a Christmas tree. And then they have some carolers here. Fences, black and white. They have gift card boxes. These are tins for $1.25. And then they have, well, I don't know why I'm trying to press that, all the village houses, I think, that you would want in a village. And they have a camper. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Whether you're looking for gifts or stocking stuffers, I feel like the Dollar Tree is a great place to come. They have all the accoutrements. Look, balls. Literally, if you don't know what to get a child, a ball. Get them a ball. I've never seen a child turn away a ball or say no thank you. Like, always always going after the balls hey peppa the whole peppa family i'll tell you what these are pricey when you buy them in a kit what the heck is happening we've got all the pixar all the incredibles well not all of them i don't know power rangers this is me it's kimberly nice to meet you we have merida up there coco are you getting a look on these hold on i'll go nice and slow we've got transformers and Finding Nemo, Nickelodeon, Madagascar. I have never seen this many at once. We have Toy Story. Do we have any more than Buzz? Surely, oh, there's a Forky down there. I'm sure there's more if you go in the back. Spider-Man, or sorry, Superman. Oh, how dare I? Anyway, I'm trying to give you an overview. Minecraft, and I don't know what Masters is. Justice League. Monsters Inc. What the heck is happening? Peppa Pig is really what's impressing me the most. Minnie and Sesame Street as well. We've got Abby Cadabby up in here. Barbie, PJ Mask, Jurassic World. Holy, I'm oh, sorry, I gotta get off the floor. I just keeled over. I can't even believe it. All right, we've got My Little Pony. Are these actual My Little Ponies ponies or are they knockoff? They say Hasbro on them. All right, yo-yos. We've got fake Barbies. And I mean, honestly, looking at the rest of this crap, I'm like, nothing compares to those little figurines. <laughs> but you know what does? What the heck? An air fryer made simple. I need this. Look at those French toast sticks. Ooh, this is what we need for the new year, okay? Clean and healthy made easy. Like a whole dang book, you guys, for $1.25. Whole dang book, look. Disney Princesses, Ariel's Baby Boo. They have ready to read books, baby animals around the world. Lots of ready to read, I'm actually impressed. And then they have all these large print, like crossword puzzles and stuff like that, which I feel like the kids really enjoy. Fancy Nancy. Man, we love a good Fancy Nancy. I also saw Vampirina, Hansel and Gretel, color by number. Peppa Pig. Peppa, nice to see you. All right, still rocking the shovel and spade, bucket and spade. Who am I? A Nerf ball, a football, a whistle football. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what the heck it is. What is this, a puzzle, Blue's Clues style? All right, the packaging on this, questionable. <laughs> Who was in that marketing meeting? Puzzles. They also have a lot of paint by numbers and stuff like this. Holy, I am so impressed. Crayola, Crayola rocks. They have Crayola stuff. Who's this? Arthur, pop, outsa, take and play. If I can't read it, I'm not buying it. Hooked on phonics did not work for me, okay? Ooh, these window things. Look at, they have Buzz Lightyear and his brother, Zap. They have flying airplanes, Aeroplay. What the heck is Aeroplay? I don't know, but it's from Creative Kids. You know what I got here one time? Clay, a ton of clay, obviously in different packages. I want to say it was like a name brand Crayola or something. I see some modeling clay over here too. Just fantastic. I mean, that keeps my kids busy for so long. Smashers, oh, Dino Smashers. Clay is fantastic. That's another one that I would buy over and over again because the kids just love it. Uno on the go. It's definitely not enough cards in there. And they're super small. Those will get lost. But fun for traveling. Uh, bubbles, outdoor stuff. I went to like $75 trees in my area to find cellophane. Here it is at the DT. I had to drive all the way to Hobby Lob. Thankfully, it was on clearance for... Or not clearance. Uh, actually, I think I got the deal. It was on sale for... $2.25 and I got way more than whatever the heck is in here. 72 inches by 30 inches. All right, well, now I feel a little better about it. But if you're putting together gifts, I mean, Dollar Tree has such a wide selection of gift bags and bows and all that good stuff. And they also have the party section. I'm sorry, scotch tape. Sometimes you'll get three for a dollar, especially around the holidays, but always two for a dollar. Ooh, even more gift boxes over here. Just 
like a dollar 25 for this michaels is wanting to sell a box of this size for 49.99 and then they have the normal tissue paper that they always have 35 sheets for $1.25 to compare to the Christmas style. Look at these stockings. The quality. What the heck is this? Stocking with a little baby stocking. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love that. And then they even have the holders, stocking holders. Oh, wow. What the heck is this? A nice flute. Oh, a champagne glass. Okay. See, I don't know the difference. I'm very ignorant. I don't drink alcohol, but they have all the stuff if you want to throw a fancy party together. We do a New Year's Eve thing. And look at these tongs too, where we have sparkling cider. And this would be a fantastic way to serve it. Okay, this one might be a little better. These are wine glasses and you get five for $1.25, whereas the other ones you get two. Coming down the arts and crafts aisle, not specifically anything Christmas, I don't think. I don't know, I haven't been down here yet. But it would be great to give for gifts and stuff, especially my artist. I mean, look, they're already wiped. Who the heck knows why? Sometimes they're fully stocked. And I feel like sometimes I always go to like the wrong Dollar Tree. <laughs> like last time this one was fully stocked. And next time that one is the one that I didn't go to. But normally they have a ton washable paint. I mean, the price is unmatched. They also normally have a ton of acrylic paint. They have things to actually paint. A lot of wooden pieces. And then a lot of like actual paints in the thing they have i mean you can see all of the artsy fartsy stuff that your art lover will love getting in their stocking if you're putting together like reindeer feet or something like this or anything they have the cute little bottles the mini mini little bottles too if you're a crafter i'm sure you know about this but if you're not and you just want to do something fun for the holidays like they have so much more look crafter square this apron oh so dang fun it's not a gingerbread but it's close they have little plushies i see reindeers and dogs and i don't really know what else is that a mouse questionable you know sometimes they have holiday socks i don't know if i see any i see a couple winter ones oh here here are some snugadoos i don't know if i would buy that i actually didn't even know they had flip-flops here this is great for when you're going somewhere or if you're in town and you just need a pair of flippy flops. Also great for the stocking, all the hair accessories. They have a really cute hair bows and hair clips here. And even just if you're looking for the elastics, they have a ton of those as well. Like look at the options, throw it in a stocking, $1.25, boom. Speaking of the holiday socks that I couldn't find, they pulled them out. They're all up here. And we've got gnomes and campers and red trucks and all the cute things. Some more snugadoos. Have they always sold gift cards here? And I just never stopped to look. Look, they have $10. Hold on, a four pack of $10 ones. Man, what a screaming deal. That's really cool. Sometimes it's hard to find gift cards that are less than $20, really. And sometimes you're like, oh, this person, I don't know, $20 is a lot. You know what I mean? Okay, anyway, I'm down the beauty aisle and normally they have a lot of face masks or just some beauty stuff that you can put together a nice gift for someone. I don't see any masks. Oh my heck, Crayola has a toothpaste? I'm gonna keep looking for the masks. I feel like they're, it's just under my nose, but normally they have like the name brand thing. Ooh, LA Colors Sparkle and Shine shimmer and shine whoa there's more down here i knew it hold on what the heck who is this mini mouse bath bomb okay dollar 25 pretty steep for a bath bomb honestly just kidding target wants to sell these for like six bucks i mean i haven't even seen one like this but they have star wars and then here it is let's put together a nice little what is it called self-care basket for someone this is awesome mr Bubblios bubble bath. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, they even have unicorn hand cream. Any cutesy little thing like that, at that point, it doesn't even matter what it smells like. The kids just love it, right? Okay. Oh, soothe and lift. Are we doing base lotion from the DT? Oh, a hair mask. That's really nice. Pimple patches? Blemish patches. They have some blemish. They're getting sold out. They have some blemish patches at the DT. That's sweet. If you ask me, they also have cranberry body wash. Okay, here's what I was thinking of, but sometimes they have the really nice brand. So all the face masks here. Ooh, a bubble face mask. It doesn't matter, name brand or not. I think it's fun. 
It'll provide some excitement for the little ones. A set of two bath bombs there, more sheet masks, and some kits at the bottom. Well, this is cute for $1.25, Mulan. And then down here, Fisher Price as bath time? Okay, what the heck, bath time slime? Never have I ever heard of this stuff. I have seen the Crayola finger paintings at the Dollar Tree, I'm not, the Target dollar spot for a dollar, so I guess you'll save your money there, but if you're here shopping anyway, or if you don't have a Target near you, whatever, if you don't shop there. Oh, a Barbie detangler, that's pretty sweet. Shimmer and Shine, we were just talking about you. Ninja Turtles, what, they have all the cool body washes. Oh, shampoo too. And mango and banana fruit, fruit puree, a dollar 25, do we trust it? This is crazy. See, that's pretty cool. This technically might not be Christmas related, but kind of is jet, because some desserts call for this jet puffed marshmallow cream. Like the big one for $1.25. Like what's the expiration date on this? I got some questions. They make it so hard for you to read. That's pretty amazing. They've got Pillsbury up in here. The DT is amazing. Look at all this food. For $1.25, they got stuffing mix. Get it, grab it before it's gone. They even have it on the shelf. They know it's not gonna last. Jiffy, okay, here's 75 cents on the box and we're paying $1.25, no sale. Unless it's two for one. Tuna? What? Screaming deal for this. I had to show you since we were talking about it. Warhead? What is that, soda? What the heck? Here they are. We, I was looking around for these. The tins. Nice assortment. Oh, this is so cute. So if you're putting together cookies or a, literally a gift for anyone, Mrs. Claus Bake Shop. These are darling. And the price is unmatched, especially for the size of them. Um, I We saw a couple at the Target when I did the shop with me there, but they weren't this big and they were more than $1.25. Oh my word, even more. What? Everywhere I turn, I see more. So there are some kitchen, I forgot what these are called, mittens, hand mittens, or whatever the heck they're called. And then kitchen towels, hot, hot, hot something? That's a pot holder. Is that what they're called? I'm sure it says on the tag, but again, hooked on phonics. This corner right here has some more magical, what is this, a set of two? Oh, I don't think so. I think it's a print on the other side of these kitchen towels. Oh, Swiss Miss. A box of six for $1.25. You know we're going to put together a hot cocoa board. Bed and breakfast. I do need a Christmas mug. Well, I found these randomly in a shopping cart. And uh, that looks like a really nice size box. A few color options too. Okay, I peeked on these when we first came in but I didn't really get it. Oh gosh, did I just break that? Oh my gosh, it wasn't my fault. All is fixed, I'll just put it right back in the hole. Anyway, it doesn't go there. Oh, I ruined it, hold on. Okay, better. Steak lights and they're solar, kind of look like Easter eggs. So get pastel colors and you can keep them for the springtime too. But it looks like they have a wide assortment. They've got a Rudolph, Santa Claus, a Christmas tree, a snowman, an elf even. Uh, Avelina and I were thinking about the Rudolph song it was on and she was like, do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? She's like, dude, that's the only one I recall. How is this song even a thing? <laughs> oh, it made me laugh. She was like, of course I remember Rudolph. That's the only one I remember. Okay, it looks like they have shot glasses, dish drying mat, and they have a lot of place mats for your holiday place settings, mugs, and plates. And no, we don't forget about Thanksgiving. There just isn't much to do about it. It's a day, it's fine. We eat and enjoy family, and it's actually one of my favorite holidays, but here's some Thanksgiving stuff. Oh, here's a little mini stocking. This would, oh, you get two of them, two mini stockings. Instead of a gift bag or something, this could work. That Santa looks questionable, not gonna lie. What's in here? Snowman, cute. All right, so good stuff. Also, stickers are always a hit in the stocking stuffer as well. And Dollar Tree is really great about having a lot of stickers. Mike and Ike pens? What's with Mike and Ike? I don't think I've seen them in 20 years. And just in one day, I see two. Two things, Mike and Ike. Anything could be a stocking stuffer, right? Here are the more stickers. All right, cool, cool. Ooh, they do have these candles too that aren't glittery. These would be great to decorate with and I wish I knew they were here because a dollar is ugh, a screaming deal compared to what I paid off of Amazon for all of mine. Oh, I wanna cry now. I just didn't know. Sometimes you just don't know what's available at the DT until you come out and look. I don't see any candy canes, but I do see wrapping paper. 
Oh, they have some really cute wrapping paper too. This is like at the checkout, so it's awkward that I'm standing here. Bye. This is also at the checkout, super random, but they have the cozy socks, the snugaboo. Actually, these feel nice. I don't know, it's still questionable. The snugadoos. Oh, but they have cats, cute. And more bags. Oh, and a wine, wine bottle bag. I had to put the vest on at least to say goodbye. I mean, look at this. They need their screen time. They're so dang cute. Thank you so much for watching and shopping around with me at the Dollar Tree, seeing all of the goodies that they have for Christmas. That's all this store had anyway. I feel like sometimes I watch videos. Where's the air? I watch other people's videos and they're showing things. I'm like, I have never seen that ever in my life. Definitely not at my local Dollar Tree. And then I think it's because other people have the Dollar Trees with the extension of having $3 items and $5 items. And I, it might go up to 10. I don't know, but there's my hot take on it. And that's what my Dollar Tree has, which is most likely what your Dollar Tree has to offer as well. Nothing special about this one. But anyway, thanks again. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.